past that cannot be. The Doug Anthony All-Stars are stranded aboard the gigantic submarine Titanic II, Shitsu Tonka's Museum of History. The All-Stars are condemned to catalogue the world's greatest treasures. They're hopelessly lost in the vast wasteland of space. But all of this is irrelevant. One Picasso oil painting. Yep. One Miles Davis. <laughs> One antique telephone. Yep. One Wynton Marsalis. <laughs> One toothpick. A what? It's a toothpick. Nah, get out of it. That's not made for picking teeth. What else could you do with it? <laughs> One toothpick. <laughs> One swinging safari. I love this record. <laughs> ah, just another day at the office. endangered species of the world. Scientists have discovered that since the hunting season was opened on jazz musicians, all of them have been wiped out, all except one, the most esoteric yet ambiguous modern jazz muso on Earth. We cross to the Shitsutanka spaceport where the Marquis de Chardé is preparing to leave the planet for good. We now cross live to the Marquis de Chardé. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Oh, Yana. Yes, Yana. Oh, that's right, Yana. I must... Leave immediately, for I fear I'm in grave danger here. Why, well, I myself was attacked just the other day by a country and western group who lured me into their club, belted me with baseball bats, skinned me and sort off my tusks. But believe me, Yana, the wholesale slaughter of jazz on this planet will not go unavenged, for I intend to create a brave new jazz colony on an idiotic scale never before heard and bring this awesome combo back to earth to thwart the atonal attitude of your entire race, leaving you nothing but an axiomological semitone of your former jazzless self. <laughs> Yes, Jazz is not dead. Just a little bloated lately. A touch of gastric reflux, I think. Oh, oh. G-sharp mine. Sorry, Yana. How exciting. Just think, Rich. The Marquis de Chardin is going to be here in less than a week. And if we show him our collection of jazz records, and we play some jazz for him and he likes us, he might give us a job and take us away from all this cataloging on the Titanic. Huh. Fame. Lights. Stardom. Anorexia nervosa. Leotards! Hey, Paul! Paul, hurry up! You're finished cataloging those records for the marquee? Acabout! <laughs> ah. One 1945 news clipping. B-29 bomber disappears over Bermuda Triangle. Yep! One Talamera! <laughs> Damn. Knew we shouldn't have turned left to Bermuda. I guess we missed our primer target spot. This sure as hell don't look like Japan. Where the hell are we? One Smith and Wesson pistol with laser sighting. <laughs> Loaded. Yep. One bust. Hey, don't touch that, Richard. Get your hands off. Don't you know what this is? It's a bust of famous British author, Evil and War. Yeah, it also happens to be the last remaining nuclear bomb in existence. <laughs> it's disguised as the head of Evil and War. Well, why? Because it is a war head, Rich. <laughs> Bolly. Now, just don't touch it. We have to be very careful. In the wrong hands, it could be dangerous. Oh, let's get rid of it. Let's burn out the hatch or something. Put that nuclear weapon down. You'll take someone's eye out. <laughs> and open that hatch and we'd all be sucked out into space. Just keep your dirty, filthy, grubby hands to yourself. Sorry. Charlie Parker. <laughs> well, the last one. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree plant. <laughs> One rubber dinghy. Yeah. That'll be the phone. Phone's never rung before. 
Hello? Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? Talking to an orangutan? Yep, thanks very much. Boys, that was the Marquis de Chardin. He's coming here. Tonight! Tonight! Yeah, oh my God, he's going to be here in less than an hour. The place is a mess. We've got nothing ready. There's no atmosphere. Hey, Paul, Paul, did you take care of all the jazz records like we said? Yep, Rich. As a matter of fact, this is the last jazz record in existence. <gasps> what? 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 Oh. oh, God! What have you done? <laughs> Paul, when we said take care of all the jazz records, we didn't mean take care of all the jazz records. We meant take care of all the jazz records. Once I smash this, Rich, there'll be no more jazz in the universe. You, 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 you. Impudent rap scallion! Oh, I'm so scared! Listen, Paul, the Marquis de Chardin is coming here to listen to all our records and we've got nothing to show him! Well, at least we've got this. The last recording of Whoops There Goes, Another Rubber Tree Plant. <laughs> Not for long! Come on, let me smash it. You know, jazz music is the root of all evil. <laughs> That's rubbish, Paul. Jazz music mellows you out. No, it doesn't, Ferguson. It makes you violent. Listen. <laughs> you know, Paul, I wish you were Nelson Mandela. Why? So be a soft-hearted campaigner for human rights? No. So you'd piss off for 30 years. I wish. There's only one way to resolve this. We've got to have a debate tonight. You're on. Hey, hey, what's that? Shitsy Tonker update. Sociologists report today that since the last nuclear warhead known to mankind was placed safely in the Space Museum, Titanic II, there has never been such an extended period of world peace. Ooh-wee! Well, stick a broom up my butt and sell me as a Cupid doll. You hear that, Bucky? You see that? That's Tokyo Road. Or Japanese propaganda. Peace on Earth, my ass. We're still toe-to-toe -to -toe with those Japs. I know it. I just know it. And I'm not about to let the, the peace-loving American way of life be infiltrated and indoctrinated by a bunch of short-ass, yellow, nigger-loving racists who go around killing innocent people. No sorry. What the heck? Well, blow me up and call me Nagasaki. Look at that. It's the Titanic too. Hey, Bucky. Let's go and pick up that 50 megaton of candy and go make some real peace. <laughs> what do you say? Bucky, will you listen to me, boy? Why don't you answer me? So what's eating you? Right. Let's go make President Truman a proud man. <laughs>